Well, I did it. Let's get home and I'll talk about this. Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. I told this story on stream last night, but I was scrolling through Discord two days ago? Two days ago. Yeah. And um, someone had posted a, a picture of some Dunkin' Donuts munchkins. And I saw that and I internalized that hardcore. I was like, I like those. Those are nostalgic. Those remind me of childhood. I want donut holes. And so I thought about them a lot. Mal and I went out shopping and as we were on our way home and I knew that we were going to be passing a Dunkin' Donuts, my brain was like, those Dunkin' Donuts donut holes, you want them. And I was like, nah, nah. nah. My brain was like, yes, you do. You want them. So then I turned to Mal and I was like, Mal, there's something. There's something I want, Mal, but I can't tell you. And I'm like, just tell me. And, and this went back and forth like five times. And then eventually Mal was like, just tell me what it is. And I was like, the donut holes from, from Dunkin' Donuts. I was like, we shouldn't get them. We have so many sweets at home. And Mal was like, is that all? Anyway, let's go to Dunkin' Donuts. And I was like, no. So we didn't. Mal, you know this thing you like? <sighs> you can't have it. That's not, <laughs> it's not the story. It's not the story. I needed someone to talk me down. You knew I wouldn't. I wanted you, you to. I, I wanted to help. <laughs> we have so many sweets at home. But I told the story on stream last night and everyone was like. And I told my version of the story. Mal's version is wrong, by the way, because Mal's version is just Stephen, the evil villain, <laughs> was like, you can't have this thing. <laughs> anyway, we, we went and got it. So um, I actually got. I didn't know what the normal amount of munchkins to get was, so I got uh, 25, which if it sounds like a lot, it is. That's actually kind of a lot, um, but they look good. This will last me all day. 25 minutes. 24 minutes. Where's the cinnamon one? <laughs> Is that the one you want? They're kind of buried down in there. This is the cinnamon one. I haven't had munchkins in a long time. Um, when the when the lady asked me what kind I wanted, I was like, variety? I don't know. I can't imagine getting an entire box of just, like, the one flavor. I was like, no, I want to try them all. That's, that's what I want to do. Are you enjoying the box, buddy? Huh? Are you? We got a box there for you to enjoy? Good boy. So I didn't eat all of those donut holes at once, thank God, because as it turns out, 25 is actually a lot. It's hard, I didn't know exactly how many I should be getting. 25 was too many. Anyway, I ate some, and I saved the rest for tonight, and I'm, I'm starting to eat them again. I gotta tell you, uh, we got those at noon, probably around noon, which is not the ideal time to get any baked good. Uh, whether it's from Dunkin' Donuts or an actual bakery or mom and pop, you know, donut shop or whatever. Like, stuff is not going to be as fresh as if you would go in the morning. That being said, I asked for a variety of the donut holes. And the only ones that were soft were the glazed. The glazed were pretty soft. All the other ones were like, they weren't like rocks, but they weren't, they weren't soft. They were like, oh, okay. And I expected that. When we went at noon, I was like, I'm probably gonna be a little disappointed getting this at noon, but it's fine. However, it's the evening now, and I was like, oh yeah, I still have a few of those things left. I should eat them. And I had, I've left them in the microwave all day so they wouldn't be exposed to the, to the air as much. And I decided to reheat them with the, the box open with a damp paper towel over the top of them for 30 seconds. And I gotta tell you, it worked great because now they're super soft and they're actually warm. They're way better. Like, I should have done this when I got them home. These are pretty good. Now don't get me wrong. The donut holes from Dunkin' Donuts are never in a million years gonna be able to compare to a mom and pop place. They just can't. But, we don't have a mom and pop place super close. It's pretty far away. 
So like if you want donuts, you want donut holes specifically, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta work within the confines of your environment. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Also, why get your fingers dirty? There's no point. Use a fork. Mm. There's several different flavors at Duncan. There's blueberry, cinnamon, powdered sugar, chocolate glazed, and then original. And I think of all of them, and this might be kind of boring, I think glazed is actually my favorite, just the normal ones. The cinnamon are pretty good. And I like them all, but I think my favorite is just glazed. I really didn't expect that I would just eat all these on camera. But they did. I like donut holes, man. I haven't had them in a long time. I remember, and I told this story on breakfast stream. I remember having some when we went to LA. Alex and Haley took us to a local donut place and I bought, I think it was a dozen. I think it was a dozen for a dollar. And they were bigger than most places. And they were so fresh and they were so good. And that was just fantastic. When I was a kid, um, I liked to get donut holes, either donut holes or the, um, like the super classic uh, donut with, um, with sprinkles. Those are the things I like to get. And in adulthood, I don't really get donut holes that often. If we're gonna go through the drive-through of Duncan or something while we're on a trip, I usually get a coffee and a donut, full-size donut, that's it. But I saw that picture of, uh, of the donut holes and I just wanted them. And I'm glad I got them. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's one of the many joys of adulthood is if you want something, you can just get it. Like when you're a kid, you have to be like, mom, can we get donuts? And then mom would be like, mm -hmm, you know, we, we got sweets at home or like whatever. But as, as an adult, it's like, I want donuts. I'll just get in my car. <laughs> like in the morning, if I'm like, I want a sausage biscuit, I just go do that. If I want to cook a Thanksgiving turkey for dinner tomorrow, that would be weird, but I could do it. You know what, maybe 25 was the right amount. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?